Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from geek.com and I'm here with the Nexus 9, the Nexus 6, and the Nexus 5. Uh, the 5 is upgraded to Android L. We were doing some testing with the Nexus 6 here and uh, we noticed that it was sort of booting slow and some of the benchmarks looked a little strange for a device of its class. Then we remembered that the Nexus 9 and the Nexus 6 both ship encrypted. So uh, encryption has been something you could do on these phones, but now what happens is that it is encrypted from the start. You see that right there. And it's not something like you could flip off, obviously. With the 9, I just did a factory restall on this, factory reset, and encrypted right from the start. So uh, that's one of the reasons why, like I said, the benchmarks look a little funny and the uh, the boot times for these is slower than we expected. Not a huge deal and it doesn't really affect day-to-day -day operation, but it is something we noticed. The Nexus 5 with Android L, as you can see, is not encrypted from the start, but you can do it if you want. Charge your battery and try again. Let's see what happens when we do that. So I brought in the Sony Xperia Z3 and the fully charged Android L powered Nexus 5. And I just wanted to take a look at these before I encrypted them, just to see the difference between an unencrypted and a encrypted device. Of course, as I said, the Nexus 6 and the 9 are both encrypted. Let's do a quick boot on these two. Sorry about the construction noise. Unavoidable here in New York. But yeah, so the Sony's moving along at a nice clip. The Nexus, you see the the spinning dots. Oh, it's pretty light. I need to turn my brightness up. Sony's all set. You're looking at about 20 seconds of boot time, give or take. And then there's the Nexus. So I'll swipe to unlock the Sony. Going to, uh, no, it's not with Sony. Going to our settings. Look up to security. And we can see that the phone is not encrypted. You got a note here. To encrypt it, you need your charger. So we'll do that off screen. Here's the Nexus. Turn that up. Go into settings, security, encryption. You need to be charged to do this, but you can see the phone is not encrypted. We'll encrypt it and then we'll see kind of what happens with the boot and some other things. So, the phone is fully encrypted now. So, I did the process. It took about five minutes. It'll take a lot longer if you have a bunch of data on your phone. This really doesn't have much on it, aside from a few apps. Uh, but, yeah, it's all encrypted now. So, let's do, let's power it off. I ditched the Z3. That was just going to make things more confusing. So, let's just focus on the Nexus 5 the encrypted Android L powered Nexus 5. It's powered off now, now it's powered back on. And we'll see what the boot process looks like. You saw the lock there, just saying, hey, it's encrypted. So it's definitely cranking now. And we'll post the times at the bottom of the video so you can see the difference.
There you go.